Allison Transmission PTO Troubleshooting Expert Tips and Solutions To troubleshoot an Allison Transmission PTO, check for hydraulic pressure and ensure the PTO engagement switch is functioning. Inspect electrical connections and verify software settings. Allison Transmission PTO's power takeoffs are crucial in many vehicles. They allow the transmission to power auxiliary equipment. Common issues include hydraulic pressure loss, faulty engagement switches, and electrical connection problems. Regular maintenance and timely troubleshooting can prevent major breakdowns. Checking hydraulic pressure and inspecting connections are essential steps. Software settings can also impact PTO performance. Proper diagnosis ensures efficient operation and longevity. Addressing these issues promptly keeps your equipment running smoothly. Introduction to PTO Troubleshooting Allison Transmission Power Takeoff PTO units play a vital role in various applications. They transfer engine power to auxiliary equipment. Troubleshooting PTO issues can keep your equipment running smoothly. Understanding the importance of PTO and common issues is essential. Importance of PTO PTO systems are crucial for many commercial vehicles. They help operate machinery like hydraulic pumps and generators. A well-functioning PTO ensures your vehicle's auxiliary systems run efficiently. This can save time and money in operations. Ignoring PTO maintenance can lead to significant problems. These issues can affect overall vehicle performance. Regular checks and timely troubleshooting can prevent costly repairs. Common issues. Several common issues can affect PTO performance. Identifying these can help in quick troubleshooting. Below is a list of frequent PTO problems. Overheating. Excessive heat can damage PTO components. Leaks. Fluid leaks can reduce PTO efficiency. Noise. Unusual noises may indicate mechanical problems. Engagement failure. PTO may not engage or disengage properly. Worn parts. Worn gears or bearings can impair functionality. Addressing these issues promptly can prolong the life of your PTO. Regular inspections can help you spot potential problems early. Being proactive in maintenance can save you from unexpected downtimes. Identifying PTO problems. Allison Transmission PTO power takeoff units are essential components for many vehicles. Identifying problems early can save time and money. This section covers key steps to identify PTO issues. Visual inspections. Start with a thorough visual inspection of the PTO unit. Look for obvious signs of damage or wear. Check for oil leaks around the PTO and transmission. Examine the mounting bolts and connections. Make sure they are tight and secure. Inspect the drive shaft and U-joints for any signs of wear or damage. Look at the wiring and connectors for any signs of corrosion or damage. What to look for? Look for wear. Oil leaks. Check around PTO and transmission. Mounting bolts. Ensure they are tight and secure. Drive shaft and U-joints. Look for wear or damage. Wiring and connectors. Inspect for corrosion or damage. Next, observe the performance symptoms of the PTO. Listen for unusual noises during operation. Grinding or whining sounds can indicate problems. Notice if there is a drop in power or efficiency. This could mean internal issues within the PTO unit. Feel for any unusual vibrations when the PTO is engaged. Excessive vibration can indicate misalignment or worn components. Unusual noises, grinding or whining sounds, drop in power or efficiency, excessive vibration during engagement. By conducting these inspections, you can identify potential problems early. This helps prevent more significant issues down the line. Electrical system checks. Regular electrical system checks are essential for maintaining Allison Transmission PTO systems. Ensuring all components are functioning can prevent costly repairs. Below, we explore key areas to inspect for potential issues. Wiring inspections. Start by inspecting all wiring for signs of wear or damage. Look for frayed wires, loose connections, or burnt sections. Damaged wires can disrupt the entire electrical system. Ensure all connections are secure and free from corrosion. Use a multimeter to check for continuity. This will help you identify broken or disconnected wires. Record any findings in a maintenance log for future reference. Inspection area. Action Rick relays are frayed wires. Replace immediately. Loose connections. Tighten burnt sections. Replace affected wires. Nafuse and relay testing. 
Fuses and relays are critical for protecting your electrical components. Test all fuses using a fuse tester. Replace any blown fuses with the correct rating. Next, check the relays. Listen for a clicking sound when the relay is activated. No sound means the relay might be faulty. Use a relay tester to confirm functionality. 1. Step 1. Locate the fuse box. 2. Step 2. Remove fuses one by one. 3. Step 3. Test each fuse with a fuse tester. 4. Step 4. Replace blown fuses immediately. 5. Step 5. Listen for relay clicks. 6. Step 6. Use a relay tester for a detailed check. Document all tests and replacements. Keeping a log help helps in tracking recurring issues. Hydraulic System Diagnosis The hydraulic system in an Allison Transmission PTO is vital. Diagnosing issues in this system is crucial for smooth operation. This section covers essential steps for diagnosing the hydraulic system. Fluid level and quality. Checking the fluid level is the first step. Low fluid can cause serious issues. Ensure the fluid is at the recommended level. Inspect the fluid's quality. It should be clear and free of contaminants. Use the following steps to check the fluid level. Locate the dipstick for the hydraulic fluid. Remove the dipstick and wipe it clean. Reinsert the dipstick fully, then remove it again. Check the fluid level against the marked indicators. Assessing fluid quality is also important. Dirty or contaminated fluid can harm the system. Look for the following signs. Fluid color. It should be clear, not dark. Presence of particles. No debris should be visible. Fluid smell. It should not have a burnt odor. Let me know if you hashtag now for hydraulic pressure testing. Testing hydraulic pressure ensures the system operates correctly. Use a pressure gauge to measure the hydraulic pressure. Follow these steps to test hydraulic pressure. 1. Connect the pressure gauge to the test port. 2. Start the engine and engage the PTO. 3. Read the pressure gauge and compare it to the specifications. If the pressure is too low or too high, it indicates a problem. Possible issues include faulty pump, blocked filters, leaks in the system. Regularly testing the hydraulic pressure helps maintain the system's health. Address any issues promptly to avoid further damage. Mechanical Components Assessment Understanding the mechanical components of your Allison Transmission PTO is crucial. This ensures optimal performance and longevity. Regular assessments help identify issues early. This section covers the key areas to focus on during your assessment. Gears and shafts. Check the gears for any signs of wear. Look for chipped or broken teeth. Inspect the shafts for bends or cracks. Use a micrometer to measure the diameter. Ensure it meets the manufacturer's specifications. Maintaining the gears and shafts is essential. This prevents costly breakdowns. Lubricate all moving parts properly. This reduces friction and wear. Inspection criteria gears. Check for wear, chips, or broken teeth. Shafts. Inspect for bends, cracks, and correct diameter. Bearings and seal inspections. Inspect the bearings for smooth rotation. Listen for any unusual noises. Check if they are loose or wobbly. Replace any damaged bearings immediately. Bearings in good condition ensure smooth operation. Examine the seals for leaks. Ensure they are not cracked or worn. Replace any faulty seals. This prevents fluid leaks and contamination. Check for smooth bearing rotation. Listen for unusual noises. Inspect seals for cracks and wear. Replace damaged bearings and seals. Regular inspections of bearings and seals are vital. This maintains the integrity of your transmission system. Keep a log of your assessments. This helps track the health of your components. Diagnostic tools and equipment. Diagnosing issues with Allison Transmission PTO requires specific tools. These tools help identify problems quickly and accurately. This section covers two essential tools, scanners and multimeters. Scanner usage. A scanner is a vital tool for diagnosing transmission issues. It reads error codes stored in the transmission control module. These codes provide insights into potential problems. Follow these steps to use a scanner. Connect the scanner to the vehicle's OBD2 port. Turn on the ignition but do not start the engine. Allow the scanner to retrieve error codes. Note down any codes displayed on the scanner. Always refer to the scanner's manual for specific instructions. 
Error codes guide you in pinpointing exact issues. Multimeter applications. A multimeter measures electrical values like voltage, current, and resistance. It is crucial for testing the electrical components of the transmission. Steps to use a multimeter. 1. Set the multimeter to the correct measurement type, voltage, current, or resistance. 2. Connect the probes to the appropriate terminals. 3. Read the measurements displayed on the multimeter. Measurement. Application. Check battery voltage. Current. Measure current flow in circuits. Resistance. Test continuity of wires. Using a multimeter helps ensure all electrical components function correctly. It saves time by quickly identifying faulty parts. Preventive maintenance tips. Proper preventive maintenance is vital for the longevity of your Allison Transmission PTO. This section will guide you through key tips to ensure your equipment runs smoothly. Regular maintenance helps detect issues early, preventing costly repairs and downtime. Regular inspections. Conducting regular inspections is essential for spotting potential problems. Create a checklist to follow for each inspection. Check for any unusual noises. Inspect for leaks or fluid drips. Examine the PTO housing for cracks. Ensure all bolts and connections are tight. Look for signs of wear on the drive shaft. Regular inspections help maintain the health of your transmission PTO. Address any issues immediately to avoid further damage. Scheduled servicing. Adhering to a scheduled servicing plan is crucial. Follow the manufacturer's guidelines for service intervals. Typical service tasks include 1. Changing the transmission fluid. 2. Replacing filters. 3. Lubricating moving parts. 4. Adjusting the drive belt tension. 5. Checking and updating software if needed. Scheduled servicing ensures your PTO operates at peak efficiency. It also extends the life of your transmission. Both regular inspections and scheduled servicing are key to preventing unexpected failures. Keep your Allison Transmission PTO in top shape with these simple steps. Expert solutions and fixes. Dealing with Allison Transmission PTO issues can be frustrating. Understanding the expert solutions and fixes can save time and money. This section offers detailed insights into both temporary and permanent solutions. Temporary repairs. Temporary repairs can help keep your vehicle running until a permanent fix is available. Here are some quick fixes. Check fluid levels. Low fluid levels can cause PTO issues. Ensure the fluid is at the correct level. Tighten loose connections. Loose connections can disrupt the PTO system. Tighten all the bolts and connections. Inspect for leaks. Leaks can affect the PTO's performance. Use a sealant to stop minor leaks temporarily. Permanent solutions. Permanent solutions ensure your Allison Transmission PTO works efficiently for a long time. Consider these fixes. 1. Replace worn out parts. Identify and replace any worn out parts in the PTO system. 2. Upgrade software. Sometimes, a software update can resolve PTO issues. Check for the latest updates. 3. Regular maintenance. Schedule regular maintenance to keep the PTO system in top condition. Here's a quick comparison of temporary repairs and permanent solutions. Temporary repairs, permanent solutions. Quick and easy to implement, long-lasting and more reliable, may not address root issues, fixes underlying problems. Useful for short-term fixes, ensures long-term efficiency. When to seek professional help. Dealing with Allison Transmission PTO issues can be daunting. Sometimes the problem may require professional help. Knowing when to seek expert assistance is crucial for smooth operations and safety. Signs of severe damage. Identifying severe damage early can save costs and prevent downtime. Here are key signs. Unusual noises. Grinding or clunking sounds indicate internal issues. Fluid leaks. Leaking fluid suggests seal or gasket failures. Overheating. Excessive heat can signal lubrication problems. Erratic performance. Inconsistent PTO function points to serious faults. If you notice any of these signs, seek professional help immediately. Ignoring them can lead to bigger problems. Choosing a specialist. Finding the right specialist ensures proper handling of your PTO issues. Consider the following. Criteria. Details. Experience. Choose a technician with extensive experience in Allison transmissions. Certifications. 
ensure the specialist has relevant certifications and training. Reputation. Check reviews and testimonials for reliable service feedback. Equipment. Verify they use up-to-date diagnostic tools and equipment. Choosing a certified Allison Transmission Specialist guarantees quality repairs. It also ensures your system's longevity and reliability. Remember, timely professional help can prevent costly repairs. It ensures your transmission functions efficiently. Conclusion and Best Practices Properly maintaining your Allison Transmission PTO is crucial. This ensures optimal performance and longevity. Here, we summarize key points and offer future maintenance advice. Summary of key points. Identify common issues. Understand frequent problems like leaks, overheating, and noise. Regular inspections. Check for wear and tear regularly. Fluid levels. Maintain proper transmission fluid levels. Proper lubrication. Ensure all moving parts are well lubricated. Expert help. Seek professional assistance for complex issues. Future maintenance advice. 1. Scheduled checkups. Follow a routine maintenance schedule. 2. Use quality parts. Always use genuine Allison parts. 3. Monitor performance. Keep an eye on any performance changes. 4. Stay informed. Keep up to date with the latest maintenance techniques. 5. Training. Train your staff on proper PTO maintenance. Implementing these best practices can prevent major issues. This will keep your Allison transmission PTO running smoothly. Frequently asked questions. What causes Allison transmission PTO issues? Common causes include low fluid levels, worn out components, or electronic control problems. Regular maintenance helps prevent these issues. How to identify PTO problems. Symptoms include unusual noises, erratic operation, or complete failure. Visual inspections and diagnostic tools can confirm issues. Can low fluid affect PTO performance? Yes, low fluid can cause overheating and poor performance. Regularly check and maintain fluid levels to ensure optimal operation. How often should PTO be serviced? Service intervals depend on usage, but typically every 500 hours or annually. Consult your manual for specific guidelines. What tools are needed for PTO troubleshooting? Basic tools include wrenches, diagnostic software, and multimeters. Always refer to the service manual for specific tool requirements. Hash conclusion. Effective Allison transmission PTO troubleshooting ensures smooth operations and minimizes downtime. Follow our tips to maintain peak performance. Regular maintenance and prompt repairs will extend the life of your transmission. Stay proactive and your equipment will run efficiently. Keep your Allison transmission PTO in top condition for optimal productivity. Let me know if you'd like. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching video.